there, cover the butt used by my Blocks the layup attempt. That's big time by Young. Lakers regain the lead. I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but Franchise Sports TV back again with another video. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below if you haven't done so already. Well, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. But um, all that does help improve the channel and get more eyes to the channel. All right. So I think we all know by now LeBron James has returned from his month of being injured uh, with his foot injury. Apparently now he has... It's been revealed that he has a um, torn tendon in his foot. Uh, I know for one, a torn tendon in your foot ain't nothing to play with. Because I had the same thing almost two years ago. And it took me probably, let's say, almost two to three months to come back from that. It's nothing to play with. I was in the boot for like at least three or four weeks. Because for one, I couldn't put a shoe on because my foot was swollen like hell. And basically, I did what LeBron did, opt out of surgery and just let it heal by, my, by itself. And the foot has never felt any better now. But anyways, uh, he returns to the Lakers. Lakers end up losing big to the Chicago Bulls uh, without a Vujicic. He was fouled, not fouled out, but ejected. But um, it's one thing. That the ESPNs and FS1s, mainly FS1s, probably won't talk about tomorrow. Because I think the whole him coming back is strange. As soon as the Lakers get at 500, all of a sudden he comes back. But here's the thing. Uh, he comes back with all this speculation when he's coming back. He comes back and he shot the most shots right. And he also had five turnovers. That is something that FS1, Skip, and Shannon won't talk about tomorrow. They'll be moot, quiet, quiet as a church mouse tomorrow about that. But hey, let that be Westbrook and the whole world will hear about it. Am I right or wrong? Don't carry the same smoke. But it's funny. They blamed all of the Lakers' problems and issues on Westbrook, but since Westbrook's been gone, this team is still uh, not a game above 500. I don't think they haven't been a game above 500 this year, and they're still struggling and still doing the same stupid stuff they was doing when Westbrook was here. So you can't blame it on Westbrook, but we know who it is. They should blame it on the person who took the most shots and uh, also had the most turnovers. Also, some of the blame goes towards AD because he was back in the beta position again today and not being aggressive. Also, they had the rest working for him because I want to say it was eight minutes left in the third quarter. The Lakers already got the bonus. So every time the Lakers would get fouled with some stupid ass, stupid ass foul call, oh, guess what? They go into the basket, but it didn't work anyway because mainly Chicago was up too big already. So. It is what it is. Rest pulled out all the stops to get William Chicks out. He got ejected of a goofy ass call. But anyways, it is what it is. But I wonder tomorrow if FSN one or whatever you call it. I wonder if Shaq, I mean not Shaq, Skip and Shannon will actually talk about those five turnovers. Maybe Skip will, but Shannon it probably ignore it. But anyways, tell me what you